Hello and welcome to the Hummingbird Unofficial. This is our episode zero podcast. Today we're going to talk about some of the anime we've been watching. We're going to talk about who we are. We're going to talk about um, this awesome review on hummingbird.me that we found. And then we're going to have a little discussion about manga versus comics. So let me start off by introducing myself. I'm Hanabi, Hana for short, and uh, these are my co-hosts. Uh, sup, I'm James. Um, yeah, that's all you really need to know about me. Uh, just kidding. I like anime uh, as much as the next guy, but I prefer manga a lot more than anime, which you will probably find out during the podcast. Um, I'm I'm Jordan, and you know, <laughs> I'm a little shy, and you know, uh, hey. My little Jordan can't be this shy. Shit. <laughs> and now they okay. all know. Okay, okay, right. So, so we have a structure to this podcast, correct? Uh, yes. Um, oh, I, I forgot to put my notes for that. Hold on. Documents. Okay, so while Hannah finds the notes, um, I'm just going to ramble, okay? Can I join? No. Review highlights. <laughs> Review highlights is first. Oh, balls. Okay, okay. so... Alright, so the review that we picked to highlight this time is a review on The Girl Who Leapt Through Time by The Baron. And I've never seen The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, so um, reading through the review, uh, I picked it because it made me want to watch the show. <laughs> you know, it, it talks about the plot without being spoilerific, and uh, I don't know, what do you guys think about the review? Um, well, I like how it was structured. Um, I wrote reviews myself and uh, I found it interesting to see how obviously he structured the review, or she, or the Baron. I think yeah. the Baron's yeah, the guy. Yeah, I think the Baron's the guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or it would be the Baroness. The Baroness, yes. The Baronet? The, the Baroness We Fancher. love you, Baron. Right, okay. I liked how um, he wrote the review. Um, like, well, I've already seen The Girl He Let Through Time beforehand, so... Uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure if it would make me want to watch it, but I really did like the review. I reckon I should definitely check it out. Jordan, do you have thoughts? I don't think, but I do think that it was a review. <laughs> uh, um, one thing that he did particularly that I really liked in the review is he bolded the characters' names. And that's just, uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a little detail that I really liked. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, so, you, oh, guys should yeah. you guys should definitely check out the review to see if you want to watch The Girl Who Got Through Time, which by the way is a really good film. It is. And if I it makes you that. want to watch it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that gives the Baron some karma. You can't see oh, us, but I put, yeah, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say up. karma because um, we're not too sure if it's going to be staying for long. But yeah, karma. It makes his review come up to the top. Yeah, yeah, and that's good because it's a good review. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> um, what we're watching? Uh, Jordan, no, what have you, you watched in the last two weeks? Oh, what have I been watching no, this okay. last two weeks? Well, the thing yeah, that we're supposed to be talking about wasn't in the two weeks, by the way. Oh. It has been a oh, while. Well. <laughs> but <laughs> in terms of what I have watched within two weeks, um, I watched Needless for some reason. I'm not sure why, but well, I that... decided I'd watch Needless. Well, it's not like you need a reason. Exactly. Okay, so what is Needless about? Because I've never watched it. Um, well, basically, there are these people called Needless. Um, because oh. they are undesirable by the society, which is Japan. Except there was a bomb. And what happened is this bomb exploded uh -huh. and made the Needless and an area <laughs> called the Black Spot. Okay, which so is a is giant it, spot. Supernatural? Which is black. <laughs> so this is kind of like darker than black, then? I, I guess, in a sense, you could say that. <laughs> but with a bomb. And with a spot. <laughs> of which is okay. not darker than black, but is equal to black. Do they... So do the Needless have special powers? 
Um, yes, and there is a rule that the needless follow, which is one power per individual. <laughs> Except some people are like, I um, I have more than one power, and then everyone's like, <laughs> that's not true! That's impossible! And then, oh. So it sounds like your typical anime, then. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But they were lying, and they're just using oh. tricks. Darn, you know. Lying. Except for some people, <laughs> who I'm not going to spoil. Yeah, no. Okay, so yes. what else have you been watching? I, so you had a needless marathon, and then... Um, God, what was it again? Um, you know, if you pull up your activity well, no, 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 no. Shush, 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 shush. I remember one thing. <laughs> Isha needs training. Oh, yeah, okay. So this is a special request. <laughs> by one of our... Po- we have listeners already. We haven't even done the podcast, and we have listeners already. Um, by one of our listeners that we have to talk about Ishoni training. Um, so, Did, uh, yeah, let's talk anyone, about... Did anyone else let's talk actually about this. look at it? I feel so out of right. tune. <laughs> I, 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 I saw it when you were streaming it over your, your screen that time we were having the, the big Skype. Oh, yeah. So, oh, um, can I go ahead and do the plot synopsis? Go and... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Boob. It's boobs and bouncing. That's it. Big bouncing bodacious. And she calls you fat. Oh. Nice. She's kind. Because yeah, I just totally... Fancy. I just totally don't have any feelings or anything, you know? <laughs> it's it's this anime about this girl who, like, tries to be your personal trainer and teach you how to stretch and everything, but it's... It focuses on her her chest and her butt. Oh, the entire time. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. Oh, I do. It's only it about sometimes. It has different shots of the same exercise. But the key thing is, <laughs> now that you say that, there are exercises that were, and I quote, titled in the timeline when you go over it. Why player has um, uh-huh. no little titles. And one of them was Bounce, which I'm sure you can understand where exactly that was going. Um, mm-hmm. And then there was Boob, <laughs> both titled as exercises. So, <laughs> so Bounce and in Boob, case you didn't bounce. know, and then you had the different <laughs> exercise. Well, for the first six minutes, there was what someone could call plot, as in she actually spoke. <laughs> On the other hand, for the rest, for the other twenty minutes, it was just different, the same exercises in different costumes, and then changing the exercise and doing it twenty, twelve times, then twenty four times, then moving on. It's it's okay. funny how I look away for uh, from the anime season for like one season, and you focus on what like two shows, and all of a sudden we have shows about exercising and boobs and oh. I- I, uh, I don't think Ishani. I don't think training was recent. Oh, it wasn't recent. Oh, okay, I thought this. I don't, was, I don't think it was this season. I don't think it was this season. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so it's over and done with. Thank God. It was literally one episode, by the way. So it's praise like, the Lord. It was literally okay. one episode, so there's no reason why you shouldn't go and watch it. It. It was. Worth the time. Two thousand nine. Oh God. It aired in 2009. <laughs> ah, One okay. episode, 24 minutes. Eh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so anything else aside from Needless and Ishani training? Um, Okami-san and her seven companions. And I think that would be about Is it. Is it good? I liked it, to be honest. Was, You'd recommend it? I would recommend it to many people. Does it have at least two hot guys in it? <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> That's not. That's not my. <laughs> well, I mean, like, well, ba- yeah. Let me just buzz in here. Basically, every anime has two hot guys, uh, oh, the protagonist correction. and the protagonist's best friend. Not every anime. No, not every idiot best friend yeah. who's often a pervert and likes boobies. Shipwreck. Speaking we of which, I watched the very friend. last episode of Korowa Zombie Desuka of the Dead because for some reason that was just laying around. For forever. Oh, you. <laughs> so I just watched it. I just thought I'd bring that up since, you know, James mentioned perverted best friend. Yeah, literally every harem has one. It's just the only difference is the only show I can actually think of where the idiot best friend 
Well, actually, I can think of two. But the idiot best friend actually is important is school days and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> school days and. <laughs> shout out to Shinji! Shout out to Shinji! <laughs> Um, school days and um, what was it? Oh, true tears. It's just the difference is in school days, the idiot best friend was a dick, and in true tears, uh, yeah, he literally is a penis. He was there for only one reason <laughs> to be a penis. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Um, okay, so and true tears, where the idiot best friend. I'm going to rebrand him to best friend because he was awesome. So yeah, I could totally like understand where he was coming from. Okay, so where's the idiot best friend in Tenchi Muyo? I haven't seen Tenchi Muyo, so... Yeah, because it's just Tenchi. It's it's Tenchi and a whole bunch of girls. Oh, maybe what, the what idiot about, best friend is what about one of the in, girls. Um, what, it, what about in, uh, what in Oh My Goddess? Oh My Goddess, it's... well, it's clearly the one of the motorcycle gang guys that... <laughs> Who, like, never show up. <laughs> Hey, they show up in those, like, one, two episodes. <laughs> it doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's like, it's like... Girls, the, the, girls, the girls. Season. It's I like think the first we're getting episode a where like, here. oh, yeah, so since you have a girl now, uh, you have to leave. And well, they're like, oh, yeah, you like racing, don't you? Uh, yeah. Anyway, off topic. So, Hannah, what have um, you been watching? Oh, well, we have to talk about um, Jordan's featured anime first. Oh, his do featured we? anime, eh? Do we, yes, do we have a graphic for that? Anime. Like, a whoosh? Yeah. And then do you wanna? Yeah, we have a whoosh. Do you wanna do the honors and reveal whoosh. your uh, favorite anime or features anime, Jordan? Nah. Don't feel like it, huh? Nah. Bimbo Gamiga. Bimbo Gamiga. Bim. Bimbo Gamiga. Bimbo Gamiga. I knew I was gonna get that wrong. <laughs> Which means God of Misfortune, or as I would. It means but, thief. You know, the yeah. subtitles told me Misfortune, and considering it's. Heavily revolving around fortune, I I just go with misfortune. It makes okay. more sense to me. Oh, uh, the kanji, it, it can be read that way, but the kanji, because, you know, we're all studying kanji here. Um, anyway, it is 13 episodes, uh, it is 23 minutes per episode, and it aired in 2012. It also has a nice mm. opening. Which yeah, is the reason the why? Yeah, it's done by I Kiko, it. and it's stupid catchy. Oh, it is stupid catchy. I'm gonna I'm gonna link to the to a uh, YouTube video in the I, show notes of the opening. Okay, also, I'm, I'm also, go and, I'm well, go okay, and say it. no, listen, no, I'm no, gonna, I'm no, go ja James, I'm, James, I'm, 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 I'm no, late. No, you finish. No. I'm late. No. You finish. <laughs> but Pika Can was a guy. Talk about what it's about. Okay, what is it about? It is about this. It, okay, it is about it, this main character, who just who happens, has an excess of good luck. She's got an excess of good luck, and it she's draining it from the people around her. So they send a god. In other words, you could say that she's to, sucking out their steaming hot fortune. Wink. Yeah. <laughs> they send a steaming god of misfortune to burn. remove the good fortune from her, and to stop her from sucking up all the fortune of those around her. They Emphasis also seem sucking. to um, send a bunch of uh, cultural references to different anime because uh, there was a lot yes, of yes. I loved that. Oh my god! I, 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 I didn't. I just how much I, I just loved. looked at it and I thought, wow. So in about twenty years, when some person's like, I'm going to do some archaeology and discover this one 2012 anime, they're going to look at it and think, <laughs> what the hell? No, 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 no. Okay, so you you don't get it because you're not an old anime fan like I am. I'm over here buffing my nails like a like a um a hipster. I get, hipsters buff their nails. I get most yeah, of them. Yeah, hipsters buff like, their nails. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a One Piece uh, reference. There was definitely a Dragon Ball reference. There was a, there were numerous Gundam references. There's in, at the end. There's this whole Death Note like three minute Death Note reference. It's fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then had a very movie. big Dragon Ball reference. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> so okay, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a question. So Jordan, why is this your featured anime? Because I watched it. You watched it. Is, is that the only reason? <laughs> um, because of the theme well you song. see <laughs> the idea anime. of this featured anime <laughs> section was something we watched at the time. Obviously it's been three weeks. <laughs> Three to four weeks now, so uh, it's been a while. We we've had problems getting together uh, to record because we've been sick and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. 
<laughs> right, so Bimbo, uh, Bimbo Gummy Gar, go check it out. Yeah, it's good. Right. It's really good. If right. nothing we'll else, talk- just listen to the opening because that's how I found out. Yeah, about it. <laughs> it's not that good. Uh, Fuck you, James. I thought I really thought I, I went into it thinking, oh my god, this is crack. I'm not gonna like it because I don't like crack. I really don't like. Crack. I don't like but crack either. Enough, I'm not a drug addict. There was just enough serious. <laughs> <laughs> just enough seriousness in it to like there, there's actual morality in it and you know talking about you know caring about other people and you know just because you're you're rich and fortunate doesn't mean that you know you you can't have friends and you can't care about people and share your your you know good fortune yeah and have a large that chest really good. yeah that, that was the subliminal <laughs> message of it is like you can't you can't share your fortune um which is not a very good uh, no, no, no. The, the the message of it is you do want to share your fortune. By sharing your fortune, you make connections with people and you make friendships. You save people's lives. Friendship! Exactly. <laughs> Literally. Exactly. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. I had I had a huge problem with the main character. Um, uh, she was she was kind of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, you said it. I was about to say that. She was like, oh, yeah, I, look I at really me. Liked, I don't care. I really liked the god of misfortune, though. The, the, the titular character. The only time I cared for her was when she was like, oh, no, I'm going to lose my butler, my only friend. He was a good butler. He was, he was, he was a fantastic butler. And then he had to go to the place where all butlers go. The okay. retirement home. <laughs> <laughs> so, Binbo Gamiga, it's it's not as cracky as you might think. Give it a watch. Um, you'll like the, 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 the god character. There's also lots of fan service. There's some. Not as much as your featured anime. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Which right. leads us on yes. to <laughs> James. What have you been watching well, the past two I weeks? What have been watching uh, past two weeks? Evangelion 3.0. Oh, oh God I only saw the trailer for it, um, but I just want to discuss oh. it because it it's finally come out, and I've just been sat there staring at it, going, "I should probably watch this." Likewise, I, I haven't had the courage. I haven't had the courage to watch it yet. I've been a bad fan. I haven't watched any of the Avarina. <gasps> I own the two current ones. They're out in English. <laughs> um, Are you done having a heart attack yet? Yeah, uh, I haven't watched uh, either either okay, of them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I've I'm watched to... I've watched the original series in its entirety and um, <clears throat> end of Evangelion. Okay, I'm going to tell you a secret. I actually watched the original series to watch the remakes. Because I, I was told, quote unquote, the remakes are a masterpiece, right? I'm not going to credit that to anyone, but that's what I was told. And then, well, okay, so are they a masterpiece? I think they're very good. I like how okay. um, he is. There a little less mental breakdown in them? Um, well, I haven't seen 3.0 yet, and 2.0 stopped right before the mental breakdown uh, breakdown ever started to happen. From what so, I was told, 3.0 yeah, does contain mind fucks and homosexuality. Well, yeah, I mean, there was definitely homosexuality in the well, original. There's definitely homosexuality in there. <laughs> Those of you who like it. Okay. okay, this somehow brings you on to the next thing I've been watching Attack on Titan. Oh, God. Okay, again, I haven't been watching it, so don't go huge into spoilers. Oh, are we, are we supposed to be talking about airing anime as well? Or? Cause oh, you, we well, what we've been watching. What well, we fuck. Yeah. So, just is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Am I gonna if I sit One down and watch it? Am, am I gonna get to? Am I gonna be able to get past the stupid-looking giant people? <laughs> one other people. One does not simply. <laughs> one does not simply I, ask the question. Is it good? <laughs> one does not simply answer the question. <laughs> No, but like the the, the the giant people are so stupid looking. They're supposed to be stupid looking. They're supposed to be terrifying. But it's not terrifying. That it's is. Just like, why Imagine a giant stupid this? face in your window right now. Well, have you seen have you seen Titan Chan? <laughs> oh, sh- shut up! I, Please tell no. me you've seen Titan Chan. I don't. I don't know. I've seen a lot of things. I've seen a lot of Potato Girl. Okay. okay. I don't care about, about okay, Potato okay, Girl. Okay. Get potato out. Potato Girl. Yeah. Nobody actually cares about her. Like she almost. Oh, the reason mm. people s- mention mm. her so much is because no one cares about her. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just. I'm just sick of hearing about Potato Girl. It's just. Um, Me too. I don't know. It's really, really good. Um, 
engaging characters. It's engaging just ha- good. It's just, <laughs> it's just good. It's just good. It's well directed. <laughs> Okay, uh, what else have you been It's well to? directed. No, I'm going to keep talking about this, you do realise. <laughs> so, uh... Oh do, it's not your I featured supposed, anime. Was I supposed I, I to don't, talk about Aaron? Because... We will feature Attack on Titan after I've watched it. Okay, we'll do its next episode. To be continued. Okay. So why was I supposed oh to Oh my god, now about... I have to watch okay, it! Okay, okay, I've been watching one other thing, which leads me on to my featured anime. How exciting. <laughs> Ore no imoto gakona ni kawai waka genai. Also known as <laughs> My you Little Sister Can't Be This Cute. Uh, the original, this, he's been watching season two. Oh, okay, sorry. Seri- my Little <laughs> Sister <laughs> Can't Be This Cute. Full stop. Um, no, the sec- I've been watching the second season. Um, the first season aired in 2010, 12 episodes at 24 minutes per episode. The second season is currently airing, and it is, again, 24 minutes per episode. Uh, the eighth episode is out now, out of 13. Oh, did you yeah, not watch uh, it yet? I... No, I watched it. Oh, I watched okay. It. I was just... Okay, you watched it. Okay. I'm so, up to date, yeah. When, oh. when I featured this as my anime... Um, I loved it because it was just such a great continuation. Okay, from wait. The let me just stop you there for a sec, James. No spoilers yet because that's coming up. Yeah. Um, There's like harsh, we're gonna have a harsh, spoiler, harsh, spoiler, harsh, harsh, spoiler, harsh, 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 spoiler cast. So. Oh, oh we're having yeah, we're, just, we're having a special spoiler cast. Yeah, we're having at the a special end of the season cast where we spoil everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So keep well, it, keep it well. Let, down. Let's just say that. Um, I, I featured it because it was a great continuation from the OVAs and from the... It's had the same feel from the first season. Um, okay, well, which see, I, I had a big problem I, with the very first episode. I adored it. <laughs> well, it, the, the, the first season ends in a certain way, and then the first episode of the second season completely retconned. Yeah, because you probably didn't watch the OVAs. No, I didn't watch the OVAs. Nobody told me there were OVAs. Okay, oh. well... Um, I don't know if you know this, but that technically there was two endings to season one. Oh, and season one was the quote quote good ending, and then the bad ending is the canon ending. Yes. Oh my. Because the OVA, right, so basically, um, they wanted to just cut it off, um, make uh, just in case they make like I don't know. They wanted to change the story slightly, so they only do one season, and then like a couple of months later, they decided that they're going to continue the story. So then they like sort of did the canon ending in like OVAs which introduces like the club um and all that and all, kind of yeah okay well I mean the leap from the first season to the second season if you haven't seen the OVAs isn't that hard a leap you know it's just like a oh they showed the wrong ending for the first season okay well that's kind of dick well, I... um, <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of the, the rest of the changes are you know they're pretty you know changes that you can expect in you know, from one year of high school to the next year of high school. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't too confused with that. I was just like, really? <laughs> the leap was about but, as hard as molten lava. Right, okay, so <laughs> there's, a lot hard, of, there's a lot of misconceptions about Oremo saying, oh, it's incest only. Aha. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't think he wants her. Um, I don't think he oh, wants no, her. I'm just saying, oh, this is from, this I is can from relate that. to that, James, because you know um, Jonathan. Oh, just, Jonathan, man. Um, he didn't watch it for so long because he saw one scene in the first episode of the first season. He was like, nope, incest down. He's just, nope. Away. <laughs> nope. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no incest. There is no incest. There's, there's implied attraction, but... Uh, there's, no there's no sex in it, period. And that, I think, is the problem, okay? I think this show would have been so much better if every time... Um, what's her name? Kirino opened her mouth. Something was shoved in it. Okay, I hate her. Uh, I can I, I can understand I that. Um, she is not my personal favorite. Um, honestly, my personal favorite is Kiyosuke. I think he's the only character in the show who is really worth watching it for. Who is also male? Um. Oh, well, then there was that pretty boy from season two. Uh, uh-uh. mm. uh-uh. Yeah. No. My- <laughs> Kiyosuke is the only character with any sort of good development morals uh you're a shallow shallow lady you are damn so no i'm we, not i had it, feels no about can we, okay excuse me can we discuss, if we went okay, onto yes, the website right shallow. now and looked nice, at your nice, bio nice, nice, guys. can I'm we discuss shallow. the future of the show and what we think might possibly happen or 
Not including spoilers. I don't know how we could do that uh, without well, including spoilers. Current, well, uh, I can talk about like the fir- uh, one of the. F- okay. Well, how about how about this? Okay, for those listening who don't want, yeah, you know, tell tell us what you think's gonna okay, happen. Okay, right. Not spoil anything, I'm just gonna right? have to find her name because I completely forgot. Um, okay, what what does she look like? I can she, tell you her name. She has the gla- uh, those weird glasses. Oh. Uh, sa- sa- uh, Saori. Sa- Saori. Saori. Sa- yeah, sa- yeah. Saori. Saori Bajina. Saori. Oh, Gundam reference. Quattro you mean like? Bajina. Quattro Bajina. Yeah, well, that's not her real name. Uh, <laughs> sa- Saori. Who the hell? No, it's what? not her Who's real name. Who's Miyabi? What? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm confused. I'm on Hummingbird, and there's apparently there's a character called Miyabi, and I don't know who it is. <laughs> Right, so, Saori. Um, she never really had a strong role in the yeah, first season. Yeah, I didn't like that season. in season one. I like she was just, going yeah. more in-depth to her in the second season. In the second season, there was just this one episode, and it was completely backlogged of her story. Right? Now, this, uh, this suggests that she might end up becoming rather important later on in the show. Yeah. Well, and we haven't seen a lot of the best friend, like the childhood friend girl. She was all over the first season, and in the second season, she's been like, "What? You have a childhood friend?" I don't know. She is like one of those. Uh, yeah, she's she... there for advice. I would love her, except for her voice. I hate her voice. That I love sweet. her voice. I honestly think. Oh, I honestly think that would. someone went back in time, abducted her when she was like what four years old. And then just put her in this like body of a sixteen-year-old or seventeen or eighteen or whatever. Yeah, the voice sounds like a kid. <laughs> yeah, and then she's like, she's always like smiling. It's like, oh yeah. So basically, um, I killed your parents, and she'll be like, Stop oh, I forgive you. You're like, oh, that's my only problem with her. But I could, I, I can totally see why she's liked. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind talking to her because I mean, she's a sweetheart. Yeah. I like her. I like her character. I hate her voice. Um. Oh. I really wanted, like, Kuroneko had no personality in the first season. I didn't like, like her none. one bit in the first season, I'm gonna be honest. I see. Like, in the second <sighs> season, she's got some personality, but I, I just wish she wasn't lunatic fringe. Like, she is so, like, encapsulated in this make-believe imaginary world of hers. It, it gets really depressing when, um, I really liked her in the first season. I really like her now. Apart from her intentions. He really likes her. I really <laughs> like her. <laughs> Is she your waifu? Uh, mm. Um, well, mm. you did say that. You said uh, I something... did say that, but... You said but that... I, I don't know, it's complicated, you know? I've got, because I've got, I've got... <laughs> you were cheating on her with your titan waifu. Yeah, my titan waifu. Mm. Titan Chan. Titan Chan. <laughs> I'd um, hit that. <laughs> yeah, my my general feeling about uh, Ore Imo is I don't I wouldn't have watched it past the first episode if I had uh, not been watching it for the podcast. Um, I'm I'm glad that I did watch it because I really like Kyosuke. I, I like I like his morality. I like the the, the sibling feels that he's got, even if you know. Okay, okay. Uh, Hannah, Hannah, girl. were you a lonely child? Only, not lonely, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I was a very, very lonely, lonely child, James. I was the loneliest child. What? Yes, I was a lonely okay, child. Okay, right. Jordan, you have a sister, right? I have an older sister, yes. Okay, so She's we're both 23. in this... We're both in the... Posi- uh, me and Jordan, both in the position where we have siblings. Right? Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Okay, Hannah... You may look at Orimo and go, I like the sibling feel, but seriously, it, it, no, it's, no. I have cousins, okay? I have cousins, and we have, we have a sort of sibling-y relationship. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. The no. feeling, the feels between cousins and siblings are different. No, 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 listen to me, listen to me. I used to go and spend every summer at my cousin's summer. house, Summer? Okay? That means so- there was an entire winter, spring, and autumn in between. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't have siblings, yes, I know. But the... They were horrible to me. I get the horribleness, okay? They used to tie me up and throw me in the closet and play this game called Houdini. They time how long it took me to get out, okay? My sister <laughs> never did that to me. <laughs> what have I been missing out on? <laughs> they they, still they quote, 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 taught me how to fist fight. Quote, quote. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay? I, like, no. I wish I had someone to fist fight with, but no. <laughs> my younger brother. My younger brother. It's just... He's one of the most despisable people in the world. Your brother could possibly be this cute. And to be perfectly honest... <laughs> 
<laughs> My little brother could possibly be this annoying. <laughs> That is exactly what I was originally going to say. My brother is probably the most despisable person in the world. And to be perfectly honest, I think he... I I could guess that he's a very nice person. It's just I completely hate him because he's my brother. Okay. Well, maybe... I've seen siblings that have a good sibling relationship. And and, and it's nice. I mean, it, it makes me wish that I had a sibling that I had a good relationship with. But I don't because I'm a lonely child. Lonely... I'm, I'm so rory. <laughs> you got the bar. And sad Rhea Roan. Oh. Okay. Right, so. Okay. Okay. Um, or emo, should, should give I... it a watch. Give it a watch. Give it a watch. Don't, um, don't give ignore, it a watch. Don't... ignore the ever present blush on the girls. I just I it, it... Okay, this can, is this can is Can I where... like just list off what I've been watching this Aaron where... Wise then? Okay, one second. After this. One second. Okay, sure. Right, right. Um, guys, just just keep in mind that Hannah's been watching anime a lot longer than me, a lot longer than Jordan, and oh, possibly no, a lot longer hasn't. than you. Possibly a lot longer than you. I've uh, probably been I've watching been... it a lot longer than her. <laughs> I've been watching. I'm okay. I'm gonna be full, full, full truth here. I'm thirty years old. Okay. And so it says on I your bio, watching... it's no secret. Yeah. Shut up. When did you start watching anime? Um, when when I realized it was a genre and actually actively sought more, I was thirteen. So I've been watching anime, like seeking it out actively for seventeen years. <coughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and me, on the other hand, which is which is as long as some people have been a lot. <coughs> I start- James, I, s- <coughs> I started watching. <laughs> I started watching anime in two thousand nine, so roughly four years ago. Um, so obviously, Hannah's preferred art style is completely different to my preferred art style. I've grown oh, up okay, with okay, all this. I love the character designs for this show, except for the blush on the girls' cheeks. It's the only thing. I, I've grown up with animes where girls are constantly blushing. I didn't even notice they were blushing. I hate it. They're constantly blushing. You can't. You can't tell when they're embarrassed because they're. they're... <laughs> They're always blushing. Uh, if you can only it's, it's dis- Moe. if you can it's only display Moe. emotions by blushing, you've done something wrong. <laughs> but but blushing is a major. It's a major I understand. Of I, romantic intent. I understand the okay? blushies. If a girl doesn't blush when she talks to you, she doesn't like you. Well, I understand I mean, that if, the blushies are amazing. If we look at the picture of Titan Chan, um, oh, we can clearly tell that she is blushing. Um, someone, and she's also showing a lot of emotion. <laughs> Someone include um, the link to Titan Charm, by the way? I already have. We will include the link to Titan Charm. We'll include links to everything so, we talk about as long as we remember. As long as you remember. Well, I'm gonna, when I, I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna edit and I'm gonna make notes and include all the links. I will try for you. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, <laughs> James, slide them around. Tonight. Blink everything. I'm gonna try to do it. Tonight. Okay, anyway. so Orimo, uh, don't watch it, worship it. Right? <laughs> no, watch it, watch it. Watch um, it. Take, take all the female characters with a grain of salt. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> with a grain of, of salt. Wink. <laughs> one grain, a single grain. Okay, yeah, because. Uh, um, Not very uh, salty. One of, the big, um, one of the biggest strengths, Orimo, is how fun it is to watch. It's got really good animation quality. I will admit, it does make me happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, makes you happy. Like, uh, it, yeah. makes me, it makes me happy. It gives me feels like occasionally, but most of the time, I just want to punch Karino in the face. Mm. You know who yeah. I want to punch in the face? Well, that's most that's people I like come across. Back to him. Oh my god! Well, that is what uh, Rui is there for—to punch Karino in the face. It, well, I wish she would. Mm-hmm. But anyway. <laughs> I love the cutie honey, ep- cutie honey reference in episode three of season two. I liked that. I really liked that. I'm aware of that. I am not aware of it because I'm ignorant. Oh, I'm aware oh, of it because I saw a cosplay honey. of it one time, and I was like, I wonder what this is. Well, cutie honey does this thing where she she usually appears as th- three different pe- costumes during the run of an episode. And so when she finally transforms to the cutie honey, she'll say, sometimes I'm the spunky flight attendant, and other times I'm the bloody blah, blah but, you know, really, I'm cutie honey, you know? So they had that whole... It's a shout-out to fans of old anime, which... 17 years. 1973, eh? <laughs> no, they, they remade it. Oh. 
And <laughs> <laughs> it's been remade multiple times, actually. And there's a live action movie. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> okay, right. So, anyway, um, should we move on from Mario Man? Okay, well, we're going to have to finish up this section. So, Hannah, what have you been watching? Well, I'm. Okay, aside um, from. Okay, do your thing, James. Do your thing. James. Do it. What, what huh? Jordan. Someone <laughs> whose name begins with a J. Uh, well. <laughs> I mean, I know a lot of my teachers uh, yeah, call me uh, James, but. Um, <laughs> that's your name, too, right? It's my last name. Get John out. Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> Okay, if we want to go for like last names, um, Hannah will be named B, um, Jordan will be called James, and I'll be called Watson. Um, so yeah. Watson. Oh, god. oh my god, you're Watson! Uh-huh. <laughs> you didn't, I'm sorry, I'm just you having You didn't a... know that? What is I didn't what? know that, I didn't know that, oh my god. You're, I'm like having a Sherlock, I have, I'm holding Why, why does this always happen? Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I ask the same voice. thing whenever oh, someone calls me James. Well. I'm literally holding a giant book that is the complete Sherlock Holmes in my hand. Um, I'm literally we're here to talk about anime, voices. not books. <laughs> yeah, books so, uh, are anime girl. Shut up! Let me just get my thing over with. I'm literally just going to list. Get your thing over with. Okay! Do it. So, Aaron wise <laughs> I've been watching The Hentai Prince and the Stony Cat. Um, Terry and the Stony Cat. Yep, Terry, Terry and the Stony Cat. Um, a certain, a certain, yeah, fuck's sake, a certain scientific (laughs) railgun S. By the way, (laughs) the S stands for Wait, 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 say the title again. A certain scientific railgun? Yeah. Is that what it is? Okay. They've made a new one. What is this? Um, it's a second season to do with the sister project. Um, You know, all the clones and all that. Okay, cool. Which is what the S stands for, for those people who did not know. Um, Attack on Titan also, obviously. I say obviously because only one person here hasn't been. <laughs> Damn it, Hannah. <laughs> uh, I'm not a hipster. Nyar- Wait, I am a hipster. Um, Nyarka San I li- W. I liked anime before it was cool. N- Nyarka San W, which is. Everything I'm uh, watching has a good opening. Uh, Nyaruko San. You know, the, the opening where it keeps talking about sandwiches. I um, seriously, yeah. Or, I, uh, Nyaruko San, I feel, I feel sorry for it. I tried watching it. I really did. I lasted two minutes. <laughs> I can understand. I kind, I kind of dropped the second season like ten episodes in because I do that a lot. But um, RMO season two also. Date to uh. live. I've been, been watching Date to Live, which isn't actually that bad, to be honest. Mm, I think it's, it's just late to the party, to be honest. Um, something we'll be talking about later, and my teen romance comedy, romantic comedy. I don't know. I, Snafu. I don't. What? My teen romantic no. What the fuck Snafu? is that? What is Snafu? Tell me. Snafu, situation normal, all fucked up. Oh, okay. It's a military term. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, now I know. <laughs> no, you use know. Half the, the more you know. Anyway. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Um, I am probably at some point going to pick up um the Gargantia one. Yeah, I, I saw some yet. images of that. I was considering it, but yeah. But I've been catching up on Oye Emo and Pinball Gamiga, and, you know, when, when somebody tells me, uh, hey, we're going to talk about this on the podcast, and I go, okay, let me watch the entire series. That's not too yeah, hard. No joke. I actually watched, like, one episode of Pinball Gamiga. <laughs> I watched it all, okay? I watched all of everything. I'm up to date on everybody else's stuff, so. Well, good for you, Hannah. Yeah, I'm good like that. Okay, so is that everything everybody's watching this season? Um, you have Can I spoken. go into... Um, yeah, well, I'm basically watching the same, but I'm only watching Titan... Um, Titan... Uh, <laughs> Titan... Titan... Uh, or I, I, I'm, I'm watching it. I'm watching Titan multiple You're times. You're watching Advancing Giants. Advancing Giants. <laughs> At, um, assault on... Uh, assault on Advancing Giants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, from so... What I remember, that's <clears throat> actually what it supposedly translates to. I can't fucking remember. <laughs> Just... They should have just called it Advancing Giants. Nom. That's what they should call it. They should call it Nom. It's like how they, sh- they should have called uh, uh, Psychomichi no Apollon um, uh, Adolescence Upon an Incline. Okay. Did anyone get that joke? No. No, I didn't. I, I, you said Adolescence and my mind immediately went to Atena. Because anybody, anytime anybody says Adolescence, I think of Adolescence of Atena. Uh, I was actually talking about this show called uh, Kids on the Slope. I'm just talking about an anime. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. 
Kids in the Sky is an anime too. Directed by Shinichi. Uh, Shinichi. Oh, is that that one uh, with the Shinichi. like really awesome character designs? Really awesome. Did, did you? Did, 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 okay, I'm out. <laughs> I, I'm. I, we're probably not thinking of the same thing. Um, I'll. Uh, it's about. It's about a bunch of guys. Should we move on? Is it? A, <laughs> no, it's a, it's an anime about um playing jazz in the sixties. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. I like the character designs for that. Yeah, I, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> it's just I've been watching the past two weeks. On? Yeah, the past two weeks, aside from Binbo Gamiga uh. and Oremo, I finished the first season of Darker Than Black. <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> um, I still have the 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 episode twenty six or whatever it is, a little extra single episode. Um, but I did finish Darker Than Black. Oh, I love Hay. Okay, okay. Question, um, question for you, Hannah. Did what? you watch Darker Than Black season two before season no. one? No, 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 no. Okay, so no. what are your thoughts? Seen it yet. What are you? Oh, you haven't seen season two yet. Neither have I. No. Okay, Men, uh, I know loads of people who hate season two with a living passion. I've heard, I've heard that season one is a lot better, but I'm reserving judgment because you know I haven't seen it yet. Um, I really, really, really liked um, the first season, and I am. Contemplating cosplaying the cop chick. Um, yeah, yeah, you said. Um, yeah, well, I watched season two beforehand because I was told to. Um, oh, and I okay. think it's had a much positive effect. So if you guys out there haven't seen Darker Than Black yet, try watching season two before season one. Because season one's very. I'm gonna reserve judgment on that. Yeah, season one's very episodic. Whereas season two is like is a story that lasts from episode one to episode twelve. I wouldn't say that season one is is all that epi- I mean, yeah, you have it comes in two episode chunks. Yeah. Each every two episodes is a story, but there is an overarching over over there's an arc that goes over the top of it. Yeah. Where you learn things. Like if you just watched the last two episodes, you would not know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I meant by episodic, though, because it's like, uh, especially when the series first starts up, it's like they go through one story and then all of a sudden they're doing something completely different in a different location, and it's all to do with their job and so forth, which is really cool and I like it. It's just, especially in season two, it's like um, this episodic feel or bi-episodic feel just like completely disappears, and it's just one continuing story throughout each episode, and that change in of pace. <laughs> let down a lot of people so it's, it's just uh just a tip what else have you been well i will i will say that i i resisted watching darker than black for a very long time because um one of my friends described it to me and i'm like what i'm not gonna like that and then i finally sat down and watched it and i'm like dude this is awesome <laughs> yeah okay what else have you been watching before i have been watching um uta no prince sama madi love 1000 uh, percent okay what else have you been watching <laughs> 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 um, wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna say some brief thoughts about Utano Prince. Oh, 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 oh. Um, the character designs are great. Okay, moving on. Got <laughs> Ginga Kikotai Majestic Prince. I watched two or three episodes of that so far. Um, I I have a thing for the character designer. Um, Gundam Seed and Fafner and Scride and um, Majestic Prince. The People who did the character designs, I, just, I have to watch everything that they they, they do. I, just, I love the character designs so much, and I can't even explain why. Um, I've been watching Ango, mm-hmm. which I really I'm my my giant book of Sherlock Holmes. If you can't tell, I'm a huge fan of mysteries. Um, I'm surprised you have you finished Kyoka. No, no, I haven't finished Kyoka. You like hit mysteries, been, and you don't know. Oh. I'm 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 I'm. Mm. I'm rationing it because I don't want it to end. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, uh, I really, I really like the deduction in Ungo. There is a supernatural element that I'm not quite sure that I like yet, um, but I do like the character design of the supernatural character, uh, who is Inga, by the way, the the panda boy slash girl. Um, I finished Hakuoki. I don't know if that was in the past two weeks but i finished the first season of hakuoki which is suddenly vampires <laughs> at one point i was watching and three shows in a row boom 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 were suddenly vampires 
Uh, awesome. Uh, Hakuoki is historical. I also like uh, Japanese historical stuff. This is Shinsengumi with meets vampires, and it's based on an Otome game, so the main character girl has absolutely no personality. <laughs> um, but it's full of hot guys, and a lot of historical stuff happens, which I really, really like. Um, I'm getting close to finishing the second season, which um, I think it's been out long enough because it's on the third season. I think it's been out long enough that I can say without spoiling that everybody's dropping like flies because historically the Shinsengumi all die. And my feels. <laughs> my feels. I'm like literally. Are you upset because up. all the hot guys are dying? Yes! <laughs> I'm upset because all the hot guys are dying. <laughs> Pat, pat, pat. Um, <laughs> it's all going um, to be okay. Uh, I've been watching... They're all going to die, it's not really going to be okay. I know. And even even if they do live, most of them have been turned into the, the Furies, which are like vampires, which means that they're eating up their life force faster, so, so they're going to die anyway. We all die in the end. Yeah, we all die. It's not, they're not immortal. It's here. Um, I've also been watching... Uh, okay, 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 right. So, um... Right. I've also been watching Infinite Revias. Revias. Um, which is kind of like Lord of the Flies in space. Flies? It's, it's flies? Lord of the Flies. It's a book about kids who get stuck on an island. And it's... This, this show, Infinite Revias, is about a bunch of kids on a space station who are training to be pilots and flight attendants. Oh. And they, they get attacked. And they all board this ship. And it's just kids you know, fighting for survival. You know what that sounds like? BAM <laughs> ROUT! Uh, sorry, what? What was that? I said, ba huh? I said battle royale. No, as in, I meant a certain something oh, else. Oh, no, Batum! Batum is battle royale! Uh, okay, um, okay, right, so... Last night I finished Tiger and Bunny. Mm, which... Cool. Yeah, I never got into Tiger and Bunny. Everyone's like, Tiger and Bunny! And I'm like, I really like superheroes. <laughs> I like a lot of things. Were there enough um, hot I mean, guys in it? Um, hot guys Origami in the kids Cyclone. show? What? <laughs> Origami Cyclone is hot enough for me. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. <sighs> doki, 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 doki. Anyway. <laughs> right, right, um, right, 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 right. No, let I, me, I let, like... Can I, let, can I intervene? Wait, wait, I'm talking about Tiger and Bunny, mm. briefly. Sheesh. I like superheroes, and I also, um, I do 3D art, so the 3D art assist for the, when they're in their superhero get-ups was really, I really liked it. Um, the plot, I really liked the first half of it a lot more when it was more action than drama, but then, you know, drama picked up and it was okay. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to intervene and ask you, Hannah what your featured anime is. My featured anime is Kakumeki Valvrave. Valvrave the Liberator. <sighs> <sighs> okay. Oh yeah. I, I have a lot this. I okay, have a lot me, of feelings me, about this. Which I, want I, ha to share. I have a lot of feelings about this and they mostly center around L L. <laughs> Good luck for you, boy. <laughs> Okay, 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 right. So, actually, I'm going to do something really conspicuous. Jordan, you're up first. Oh, oh god, no, the pressure! No! <laughs> okay, well, let, me, let me tell people what Valorant is about first. It's, first of all, it's a mecha anime. Um, it's... Yeah, that, that's, all, that's all they need. <laughs> <laughs> that's all they need. It's, it's in a world where they have built a Dyson Sphere... Yes, vacuum cleaners! <laughs> Yeah, Good on you, Dyson. Uh, you started off with vacuum yeah, cleaners, yeah. and now you've moved on to space stations. I'm so basically, proud. Basically, in the year 2025, um, people got addicted to Dyson vacuum cleaners. Um, I mean, most people had about 17 Dyson vacuum cleaners each, meaning that Dyson okay, got all of the money. There's a scientific concept of a Dyson sphere. It's been around a lot longer than the Dyson vacuum cleaner. No, guys. no, the Dyson sphere it's is like what they use in those. You, have to, you guys need to know. Your no, the Dyson the Sphere is what they use in those vacuum cleaners it's that have physics. balls in them. Last that little ball the is the Dyson Sphere. sphere. The, the Dyson Sphere is from Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Oh my god. Okay, anyway, they live in space. There's three main countries. Main character comes from the neutral country. The the, the hot terrorist guys come from Dorsha, the terrorist country, which is a lot uh, like Okay, Spira okay, 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 right now. You're doing an awful job of this. Um, okay. I, we, I have the talent that, to this. make any anime sound sucky. Yeah. And this is your featured anime. <laughs> I, it's my talent. <laughs> okay, so basically Valbrave is a mecha anime um, where in the future um, the human race has colonised uh, space and the colonies in space are, um, are an independent nation called... Gior. Gior, right? And it's not just Gior that's in space. But Everybody's in space. Yeah. Okay. Everybody it's just the colonization. It's called Geo. Down on Earth, like something happened, and all of a sudden, like all the countries joined together, and now there's two like empires. I guess Aris. you could say. Arsus. And Dorsha is in space. And Dorsha. Is Dorsha? Dorsha's in space. Is Dorsha just? Dorsha's in space. Is Dorsha just in space? Yeah, Dorsha's in space. They're all in space. Yes, all yes, I know, but in ah, space. I know they're all. I know they're all in space, but I'm also saying that there's some of them back in. The root of all the countries, they all have some on Earth and they all have some on space. Okay, it's not. It's not like Xeon in Gundam where they're all in space. Okay, space. yes, yes, I know. I, I know space. this. Space. <laughs> yeah, that's space. what I'm saying. Space. Right. Um, basically, uh, Dorsha is like, uh, like Hannah said, Xeon or Nazis. Um, where space Nazis. Space Nazis. They are. They are space Nazis. Robot space Nazis. They just want to. Mm, yeah, some of them are robots. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Right. We're, we're making no progress. But basically, <laughs> that that's just a backstory. Um, you all you need to know is Dorsha wants to obviously invade everybody and ruin everyone. Yeah, Dorsha attached your, and then we get the titular Mecha, the Valvrave. Wait, whoa, 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 I don't know what we're talking. I don't know what we're talking about. Whoa, whoa. The opening scene is about uh, eating contests. <laughs> Oh yeah, the eating. It's it's in a school setting. Okay, yeah, like the main character goes to school. So okay, so they're like it's a high school. Uh, it's quite funny. You're probably sat in a meeting somewhere going, hmm. We need to make a mecha anime, but it has to involve a school of some sort. Let's put the school in space. But it can't. It can't be. It, it can't be like Full Metal Panic. It can't be from like. like so, uh, uh, <laughs> mm. I'm a mecha fan. But basically, uh, the main character over. is like, oh, I love this one chick, and then he's kind of a shit brick. Haruto is kind of a shit brick. Um, oh, I love this one girl. Yeah, she's she's so nice. I'm gonna confess my feelings to her, and then like. Dorsha Attack. attacks and supposedly kills scientists and people and... This is your official spoiler warning. Please check the show notes for the post-spoiler time code to skip to. Uh, it's just confusing. Oh, um, shit, guys. All you need to know guys. is he wants revenge. Guys? Yeah, Harto, Harto guys. boards the mecha specifically to get revenge. What? There's a Turkish fan outside and I want it. Okay. <laughs> kitty cat, kitty cat break. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, yeah. now I can ask. Jordan okay. Back to Valbrave. Feels for his, his for his feels on Valbrave. Huh? Yeah. How do you feel about Valbrave? Oh, we talking to me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You. Well, I liked it. James. Why did you like <laughs> it? Spoken like a true man. <laughs> right. I liked it. It had musicals. Oh my god, that I liked glorious. the musical scene. You know, that's just what the mecha um, genre needed, you know, to be, to be a sub-genre. If, if, um, there is precedence for this, there's precedence for this. Every sub-genre. Macross ever made is about mecha and music, okay? There's, it's not no, like it it's came about, out of the blue. I don't know what talking about, it's about remembering love. <laughs> Macross, do you remember love? <laughs> Right. I'm surprised okay. you knew that. Okay, so about me. That's pretty old. About me. Ooh, about me. Well, you know, I've seen a lot of Gundam and a lot of Macross. Um, right. I I enjoyed it. I didn't like it. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's so so the way I felt about cool. Ona Emo, you feel about Valvrave. Valvrave is just so infuriating. You know? <laughs> I mean, it was the most unoriginal thing I've ever seen. Uh, uh, unoriginal? <laughs> yeah. What are, you, what are you talking about, unoriginal? It does not follow formula at all. It does, okay? it does, the, the, it, it totally does. The terrorists, 
the terrorist pilots are supposed to be the ones to get the mech and you know the, all the other mecha aside from you know the ones that are in the opening and they have the colored face masks that correspond to they, the mecha. They looked around right at, at the producers meeting they were like hmm, we need to make a new mecha anime let's look around at other forms of mecha anime well because we're um <laughs> Because, okay, we, because, we made, because, because we made because we made Gundam one. because we made Gundam we should take elements from Gundam. Hmm. Okay, so Co I, I, is doing elements... quite well. Let's take elements from Coke. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let's talk about these elements. <laughs> okay, that you I will. Let stealing. me just explain them. <laughs> let's take elements just one by one. Come on, let... Gundam. Okay, yeah. Okay. There's a blonde guy with a half mask. There's um. Yeah, I was a bit annoyed about that. Shaw. There's a prince. There, there, there's a gear in. Obviously, analog. you can see on. Obviously, you have the Gundams. They basically just look like what are they called? Tie fighters. They're not tie fighters. <laughs> no, yeah. what are they called in the original Gundam? The bad ships. Tie fighters. The Zakus. Zakus, yes. They were like, okay, we'll take Zakus. Um, Co Th they don't look anything like Zakus though. Yeah, but that's basically None what they the are. None of the mecha look anything like a Gundam mecha. I know. They look like TIE Fighters. And they're they're working on completely different scientific principles. I, no, not so Malfrave works on the principle of hard light. Yeah. Because Gundam that... works on the principle of, of cold fusion via um, uh, an oxygen... Even you like, don't understand that. No, I, 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 had, I had a child. My vocabulary is, is smaller since I've had my kid. Um, mecha classes. Minovsky particles. You have, okay, you have classes of mechas. And basically, Zaku's are like the low tier mechas, and then you obviously have the, like, the command ship. Actually, GM's are lower. I don't care! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do! <laughs> right, okay, so... I put together the models, okay? I care! I care, I have feels about mechas. <laughs> so, you had, the you had the whole Zeon mentality, and oh, we will retreat now strategically, because we just got our ha asses uh, handed to us. Um, literally. <laughs> literally. Um, the arses Coke, on the mechs, okay. they were cut uh, they, took a lot, they took a lot of stuff from Guilty Crown, surprisingly. Okay, number one, the, Guilty, the, the entire concept of Guilty Crown is completely separate. In Guilty Crown, you have a guy pulling supernatural stuff out of people's souls. Yes, but in Guilty Crown, you also breasts. have a... Uh, you, uh, in Guilty Crown, you also have a bunch of people a bunch of high schoolers stranded in a school while people try to kill them. In robots. This okay. In robots, yeah. <laughs> You're killing me here. You're killing me, Smalls. Um, no, it, okay. While it may seem superficially similar, okay, you said Code Geass. How is it similar to Code Geass? Okay. <laughs> How is it similar to Code Geass? Aside from there is a character who is really good at Tactics. That's all there is. <laughs> no, um, I had some mentality for it. Um, it's just I came up with this analogy like when I watched it. Um. It it has nothing to do with cookies because okay, so yes, the main character does get a special power. Okay, first episode spoiler. If you haven't seen the first episode, uh, skip forward thirty seconds. He becomes a vampire. How, that's nothing like Code Geass. Code Geass. Everybody who gets a Geass has a different power. And it's not becoming a vampire, and act you know ooh, ooh I now know how to operate the mecha because of the nano the vampire nano machines in my brain. Oh, someone's like a vampire. Okay, right. Okay, uh, <laughs> I worded it. I worded it perfectly to my uh, to a good friend of mine. I said, by the way, Valve is basically Sunrise going. Hmm, Gundam worked. Code Geass worked. Hmm. Oh, Guilty Crown worked. Let's combine them all and make a uh, make a musical but Guilty Crown didn't work. I'm pretty sure that's what you but said didn't... to me. Yeah. Guilty Crown didn't work. Actually, I said it to hold them. Guilty <laughs> Crown worked for the first 12 episodes, and then then the crap started happening. Uh, no, but Valvrave, it's... The, the characters are engaging. Um, I, when's I, when's I, the last... What is the last mecha anime that you saw that gets a female pilot who's not evil? Who's not evil? Is not evil. And G Gundam doesn't count. I don't watch a lot of mecha. Um... Unfortunately, you said, "Well, that, that's what I'm saying." When's the last time you saw a? It, it, it's so rare. I it could be, really I could be a dick. Female I could be a dick are... and say something I know you don't like. What? I asked. Oh, Infinite Stratos. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't count. They're, those are suits. They're not mecha. They're powered suits. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Air and what's a mecha? Powered suits. 
Um, Becca is a. It's got to be at least twelve meters tall. Coke is. <laughs> size. Size. <laughs> size matters. That's what they all okay. say. Okay. Okay. Right. So. <laughs> right. So Ravry, uh, I didn't like it. It's just. I didn't like Guilty Crown for the same fact that it was just like they were just mashing up a bunch of ideas and combining them, but this was just. Well, are you current on it? Have you seen the episode that aired on Friday? I haven't seen the latest episode. I saw. Okay. I saw the last episode I saw was I think it was episode six or maybe seven, but um, basically, the thing about it was, is I really don't like that one girl who sings. You know, like the one who's Saki. Yeah. Saki. I really don't like her. I really do. I, I do don't. Too. I I seriously don't like her. She was like, oh no, I'm just gonna, I don't know, fuck everything over and move the plot forward by stealing this mech and becoming a vampire. And singing. Well, okay. And singing the and fucking is, shit is, over. Okay, the thing is, she she's independent. She is, she sticks to her guns. Um, she's not fake. The thing, oh, girls in anime are so hard to like. And speaking as a female. Speaking as a male, they anime, are very easy to like. I can speak as a female if you like. Speaking as a female, it's really hard to like most girls in anime because on the they're other hand, sex objects on, or their um, Yamato Nareshko taken to the, the end, other hand, and they're not good female, you know, role models. On the other hand, it's coming from someone who is shallow and only likes things with hot guys. I, uh, <laughs> I need the eye candy, yes, but I also Yeah, like well, we also fashion. need the eye candy. And, I don't... Uh, I stopped watching Utapri, okay? Uh -huh. Because there was no prod. <laughs> I'm not watching Utapri anymore. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, it's gonna be... It's gonna be hot guys and plot. I know. Why is it that you want to watch free? <laughs> Jordan, Jordan, Iliac Crest. Jordan, you should be a lawyer. You say it how it is. You ask the hard questions, bro. Uh, there's, I'm gonna give free a chance. If it doesn't have a plot, I'm not gonna stick with it. Uh -huh. it, it it's going it's to be. It's gotta have a plot. I can tell does, you, I can, does water I can count as plot? No, it could count as count plot, plot for a new world. I can, guys, I can literally vow, um, vow that the plot will be, oh, look at these guys swimming, they're swimming, oh no, they're now they're in a competition, oh, oh no, yeah. oh. No, will no, it, no, will no, it, no, what I, I want to know. Oh, look at this guy, he's, he's a, he's going to be the rival, so he's going to be evil, and you're not supposed to like this did guy. You, and did you gonna even be, watch the thing? What I, want, I watched it. What? I was there, I watched it. I watched the PV, yeah. The guy with the no, red hair. the PV. The, 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 um, the announcement, when they made the announcement, they showed clips from the show. Oh, I seriously wasn't bothered. I saw that <laughs> one post on hum I saw that one post on Hummingbird saying swimming anime with a question mark and then there was a PV. And then it was a thing. Um, no, when they announced it, they actually showed clips from the show. Um, what I want to know is... Is it, it be about like saving Yuma lives? Because I would, might watch if it was like Yuma Show. No one else has seen Yuma Show, but... It's it's gonna be a, a high school drama. That oh. sounds somewhat like you, Michelle. That <sighs> just so happens to have guys who swim. Uh huh. Just so happens to. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm not gonna say, ooh. I'm you gonna see, why don't you give anything. every other anime a chance? Because I don't like crack and I don't like harems. Well, and because don't you don't like, like well, things technically, about hot guys. Technically, this will be a harem. Because I've been watching anime for 17 years and I get to. When you watch anime for 17 now. years, you get highly attracted to the opposite sex and you refuse to watch things that don't have hot people <laughs> of the opposite sex. No, I. Hey, I like. I like Plastic Little. I like. I, I'm looking at my shelf. Okay. You have I'm a shelf? Myself. You're looking at your shelf I like or die. You're looking at your read shelf or sad about the lack of hot guys. No, no, read or die the TV. What hot guys are there are in read or die the TV? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What hot guys are in read or die? Mm -hmm, Seriously. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I mm -hmm. can I can forgive the lack of hot guys as long as it doesn't have any other deal breakers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now back on to Valve Rave. Yeah, what, how, yeah, how we got on to. Oh my god. <laughs> Right. But yeah, right, so I right. really don't like that this person because... Awesome. This is your official spoiler warning. Please check the show notes for the post-spoiler time code to skip to. She just used him. 
she was like, oh, yeah, I'll give you a lift down. Oh, one second, okay, I'll confuse and, the fuck out of you by kissing. not realistic at all, is it? <laughs> no, it's not realistic. Oh, I'm going to confuse the fuck out of you by kissing you, and while you're still paralysed from bloody being kissed, <laughs> for no fucking reason, I'm going to go steal the mech, and I know, screw everybody over. But Good luck okay. for you, for you. Okay, um, the other main female character, uh, I thought I was going to hate her. I really thought I was going to hate her guts. How she, like, grabs her skirt, like her. and she's like, I'm going to do something outrageous. No, 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 no. I just thought she was going to be one of those <laughs> airhead, you know, normal Japanese <laughs> girls. Oh, shit, you laugh at that. I forgot. <laughs> but, no, she she actually, she's effective. Oh, I, I mean, she's got some moments that I don't like, like the whole, I'm going to take my clothes off so that you guys listen to me. Huh? Um, I don't think but, you understand. Uh, that's that how works. it works. Yeah, that that, that works. <laughs> that works. Well, actually, no, I, I would probably say... I'll oh, remember that for the future. It's kind of depressing. Oh, I how, bet you will. It's kind of depressing how if I was that one guy, I probably would have said, okay, I'll listen. I would okay, have been like, if you really minutes. want to do this, if you really want to do this, I might as well record it. <laughs> no, that, I'm joking. I would, I wouldn't even know how to react. To be perfectly honest. No, but I, I ended up really liking her. Like, I, I, in the first episode, I really, I rejoiced when you know, kaboom. <laughs> and then in the second episode, I was like, really? No, they brought her back. <laughs> you see, oh, yeah. if that was spoiler a whole guy. March. Spoiler march. You're the one talking about how Saki gets her mecha and becomes a vampire. I didn't even realize. Fabric's awesome. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. It's a free on Crunchyroll. Go watch it. Nothing's keeping you from watching it. Um, internet. Um, ads. Internet. You might be listening to us now, but this is just audio. We understand your bandwidth not, might not be good enough for visual footage. So we can Go relate. buy the DVDs when they come out. Uh, yeah. Go buy the Blu rays when they come out. Learn Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. They're expensive okay. as dicks. <laughs> dicks um, aren't all that expensive next... from what I understand, but still. <laughs> our next segment is our discussion. And our chosen topic this time is comics versus anime. I mean, comics <laughs> versus manga. <laughs> well, uh, one of them is animated. Just on one so hand, normal. I like comics. Okay. And on the other hand, I like and manga. I but this isn't... Yeah. Okay, let's put it out this way. This isn't going to be a discussion saying which one is better. No, just how they're different. Yes, how they're on, different I'm and how they should definitely not be compared in any way, shape, or form. Okay, for one, they're read differently. Mm -hmm. American comics mm -hmm, are mm -hmm, read mm -hmm. left to right. Manga, traditionally, is read right to so left. So, are books read from up to down? Okay, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I, th I think we'll establish that uh, they're read differently. But, uh, and how foreign um, literature... Some people don't know. Uh, For example, Asian... right here in my hands, I have Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which is a comic. Because we can see that. You can. You can put in pictures, uh, like poorly on. drawn doodles. And in the other hand, I have... Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> um... Professional much? Oh, oh, oh god, <laughs> sorry, that was bad. What what happened? Did you, you broke your teacups? My my tablet fell down. Oh, I thought. Oh, that that's awful. Is it okay? Yeah. Is it okay? Is your tablet okay? Sure? We don't care about your well-being because you're clearly okay because you're talking. Is the tablet okay? Is the tablet okay? Yes, my expensive rectangle is okay. <gasps> Thank God. You know, jeez. I mean, technology is oh, quite sturdy. The case popped open. All right, now it's okay. So yes, in one hand. I have Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and in the other hand, I have Omomari Himari. Don't ask why I chose these specific ones. I have Journey into Mystery Fear itself, which features Kid Loki. James, what, right what do you have? Uh, in my left hand, I have uh, The um, Flash, Volume 1, of the New 52. Oh, which Flash? Oh, New 52, never mind. I, no, seriously, I think the New 52 is better than the original, because they brought back Barry. I, while I love Barry Allen, I am boycotting New 52 be on the grounds of uh, Tim Drake. Yeah, well, that's your own fault. Uh, 
I'm joking. I, I don't. I, I don't know. Just the only time I've ever been exposed to comics was through the New Fifty Two. And on the other hand, I have Spice and Wolf Volume One because um, I couldn't be bothered to turn around and take one out of my mind. I've got Emadoki Volume Two. And I'm pretty sure Spice and Wolf Volume One has explicit content. Mm. I'm sure. I wonder. Does Omamari Humari have explicit content? I wonder. Mm. I, oh I look. Have paper cut. There's a piece of paper from college okay. you can get out. Okay, so, so, we, that, okay, so we all have comics and we all have <laughs> mangas. This, this isn't very helpful for a podcast. Ironically <laughs> enough. <laughs> okay, but when you open the book, they open from different sides, right? Yes, I know, but that can be said for all sorts of Asian literature compared to European Well, not literature. everybody who's, who's listening to us might know about Asian literature. You know, we, okay, we have okay, to okay, assume... So, Japanese. Okay, let, let's just read the page that says, "Oh." Um. Uh, um. Wait. One right. thing. One thing I will say is I noticed that Scott Pilgrim seems to wear a lot easier than my mangas. That probably has no nothing to do with anything, but that, that has nothing <laughs> to do. With just the binding? Are you talking about the binding? No, as in in gen. Well, yeah, but in general. Okay, we will, we will now read. We'll we will now read. This is way of telling you you're reading the wrong way. You're reading in the wrong no, direction. No, I don't have that in mind Whoops. because mine Guess are what? in Japanese. You're starting at the wrong end of the comic. It- My manga don't have those because I read them in Japanese. I have a Japanese manga too, let me just go hey. get it. Hey, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm a bit upset right now. Viz Media just called Naruto Volume 7 a comic. What? <sighs> anyway, I comics go get my are Japanese ones so I can relate color, to this. full color. And manga are typically no, black and white. No, my comic isn't typically, full color. Typically. Okay. Um, typically. Okay. Right, so the, the thing we have to realise with comics and with manga is that they come from completely different cultures. Now, yes. I was surprised the first time I read a comic of the pacing of it, right? Um, mm. I remember yeah, they do have very different pacing. I can get through a comic book, a chapter of a comic book, a volume or whatever you want to call it, in about two minutes straight because of how quickly I read it and of the pacing. Because it emphasises more on the art than the story. When in manga, yeah. it emphasises more on the story than the art. I- I'll go with that. I'll back that. Because, yeah. Like, For the most part. Yeah, because with comics, the art is what you're supposed to look at. Because it also is a way of conveying the story. I can't really say that because well, my I, one still somewhat that... resembles... Um, yeah. Okay, well, Scott Pilgrim is not part of the big... Yeah, I, I know. I don't really read those sort of comics, so... Those sort of comics? Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't read those sort of things. You read, the, uh, you, you read the Beano, don't you? <laughs> I did one time as a child, yes. Dennis the Menace. Oh, my. Good um, times. I guess. I guess you could say good times. I think, I think American comics, at least the, the... From the big... The big publishers, Marvel and DC, tend to have um, a better integration of art and story. Mm. Because, I mean, we've had... How long have comics existed? Golden age? We've had, you know, decades upon decades upon decades of refining the technique. And there's a there's a, a thematic sort of... Um, well, there's a way you do things in comics, okay? You just... You do it in a certain way. And... And stuff. Like... And it's been, it's been done over and over and over again. So that it's been refined. Right, so to the point. Comic books are traditionally supposed to be episodic. That it's a yes. story in one. And so it's supposed to be. You, can, you should be able to pick up any single issue of a comic and have a tiny encapsulated story that then ties into a larger part. Mm-hmm. Whereas manga, on the other hand, is completely different. Ongoing. If you don't start from the beginning, you're probably going to be lost. Yeah. It's like, um, I, I remember this one time I was in a bookshop looking at the manga and someone asked me which manga they should buy. And they said, oh, I'm really tempted to buy it. And I think they were holding like Bleach volume, volume like three or something. Um, 
Because they honestly just thought that they could just pick it up and read from anywhere. Yeah. Uh, manga yes. is not like that. Uh, if you have that preconceived notion, motion of oh, preconceived, what is that saying? Pre preconceived notion. Yeah. So I got it right the first time. Yeah. <sighs> if you have that preconceived notion, um, you should probably get that out of your head and realize that manga is just like an anime. In that regard, so yeah, you don't want to come in the middle. Yeah, we do. Uh, the only exceptions for that are um, in certain things like uh, Naruto. It's got an actual break in the manga. It becomes a completely separate manga um, at one point called Naruto Shippuden. Um, you could pick up at the beginning of Shippuden and be okay because it does explain backstory um, okay-ish. I mean, you, you'll be introduced to all the characters as if you were coming in at the beginning. There are some exceptions to manga, such I as... At Azumanga yeah. Dae. Yeah. yeah. Um, anything for coma. That's the that's the genre term for it. Four dash K O M A. Um, they're of vertical which. four panel comments. <laughs> Speaking of which, Jordan's gonna do a four coma. For something. For the podcast. In a sense. Maybe. In a sense, yes. But. <laughs> so so if you have plot ideas for that, go ahead and comment on the blog post that contains the show notes yes. and tell us what you want to see in the art. <laughs> okay, so that's the first. That's the first one. Um, it it really does. It, it, they're really completely different, and they should be completely separate. Um, well, go, they do have some things that are in common. For one, they're printed on paper with ink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they tell stories. A, a lot of the time, they have supernatural elements in them. There is action in many. Uh, Let, let's leave it at this. Um, <laughs> the best way to that's how they're the same. The best way to um, someone said someone asked me a question once, uh, saying, "How far apart is comics and manga?" And then I answered, "The Pacific Ocean." Think about yeah. how large the world's largest ocean is, and then think about how they could possibly be connected in any way, shape, or form. Ma right, okay. Um, I'm well, okay. Let, let me let me say that manga did take a lot from comics, and I'm going to say American comics because Marvel and DC are primarily based in America. Um. So sorry for my 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 dear British co-hosts and anyone else who is international. Please don't take offense. I, I it's just I call it American. I'm so comics. offended right now. <laughs> I'm so offensive. I'm the most offensive person in the world. You are. <laughs> but the 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 genre of manga, I think, you know, without American comics, it number one wouldn't exist. Just like anime wouldn't exist without Disney. Hmm. Anime would not exist without Disney. The father of animation based his designs on the designs of Disney. Okay, I can argue to say that if Disney didn't exist, that anime's art style could be completely different. I wouldn't. I, anime as we know it would not exist. Okay, yeah. I would uh, not like. I, oh, okay. I was gonna say I don't like to think say. Just because one thing didn't happen, they will never exist. Because, to me, at some point, something's going to happen. Have you never watched Back to the Future? No! Actually, I haven't, so... You can what? ask me a lot of what? things, and I will say no. You I haven't have seen Lord of the Rings. Because everyone gets pissed off about that. Also, I, I, one thing I, I, I might as well I'm throw in... out there right now, I haven't seen any Studio Ghibli movies or whatever. Okay, guys, guys, don't worry. Uh, Jordan won't be featured on the next podcast. <laughs> no, it's he's he's gonna, you know, just one one time we'll just have to say the featured anime is Kiki's Delivery Service or something. And then I will say force him to watch it. Well, oh, I okay. thought it was about a guy who delivered things. <laughs> <clears throat> I watched okay, some really bad okay. flash animation in a nutshell version of it. Jordan, okay, Jordan let's, just let's said talk. the best thing he could have possibly said because it leads me to this next section. Um, when I will rant about Studio Ghibli. 
Okay, so this 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 has our discussion has nothing to do about Studio Ghibli. I know it's just in my mind that I want to express it. <laughs> right. We can we can talk about Studio Ghibli another time. We're talking about comics versus manga. Oh. <laughs> comics versus manga. So Black we're now going to talk color. about how Studio Ghibli was moving on to their new manga department. <laughs> ah yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Espers versus mutants. No. Big butts. No. Yeah, I, I now Big have butts. Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers issue 377 from 1994 in my hands. And it's got Quicksilver on the cover. Pietro. That's where the mutant thing came from. It must have been I'm nice growing up um, with comics. <laughs> I'm a geek. Comics with me was basically, oh, look at Dennis the Menace. <laughs> I started off, my very first comic was Weapon X. That sounds I have cool. no idea what that is. But that that sounds, sounds cool and so 80s. It's... <laughs> that sounds edgy. <laughs> no, Weapon X is the story of Wolverine, um, Wolverine's creation when he had the adamantium fused to his bones. Oh. That was my first comic. <laughs> My, my first comic was The Flash, Volume 1, uh, the new DC, yeah, we've been over this, but yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I just, my first comic was Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. <laughs> let me ask you this, as, as someone who's been reading the new 52, um, you don't have any great loves of the older characters, do you? Like, um, you, you don't, the changes in the characters aren't as... Stark to you because you weren't reading before the New Fifty Two, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, as an older comics fan, um, the f some of the things they did, like um, changing Oracle back into Batgirl, taking away her um, her okay her plegia. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I I know about this. Um, see, I'm not a big fan of the Batgirl comics. I was going to say I'm not a big fan of the Batman comics. Well. I Okay, I, I have a I don't like Batman himself very much, but I have a I have feels for the Bat family. There are only two the quote purchase. unquote superheroes I give two shits about. Mainly I mean, Iron Man and kinda Batman. <laughs> I say kinda Batman because I don't really care too much about Batman, but he is somewhat similar to Iron Man in the sense of he doesn't have superpowers. He's a rich playboy who has a Fuck yeah <laughs> Who has a suit that has gadgets. Yes. Iron Bat. Okay, okay, so then we can say about my two favorite uh, heroes. Um, okay, The Flash. Mm -hmm. Does he okay. flash he people off? Not Wally West. Which Barry, Barry, Barry Allen. Uh, Wally West will Barry always Allen. be Kid Flash to me. Does. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, where, does, where does Bart fit in? Where does Bart fit in? Bart fits in, like, in that one comic. In that one. No. Bart fits in in that one television program I watched that one time. <laughs> Young Justice? Yeah, I think that was, is that what it's called? Young, I, I, I love me some Bart Allen. Um, hmm. It's either, right, it's Flash. Um, I'm liking, strangely enough, Aquaman recently. Um, but... Uh, it's the, yeah, I'm going to have to say the Flash and Green Lantern. Green Lantern? Which Green Lantern? Um... Hal Jordan, since I haven't read Hal Jordan, I haven't. He's he's classic. My favorite is Guy Gardner because he's so irreverent. But uh, that's that's something with comics and manga. The difference between comics and manga is, um, especially in like DC, mm -hmm. you have a mantle, and uh, people can take the mantle. Like there have been multiple flashes. There have been multiple Green Lanterns. There have even been multiple Batmans. You can also say that there's been multiple Power Rangers. <laughs> but they're not in manga. There, 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 there is a Power Ranger manga. I'm trying to tie it back to the manga. Yeah, but that's the thing. With mangas, it's not really about superheroes and secret identities and stuff. Because Actually, some of them are. The Flash and... Um, say, like, the Flash and the Batman. They're more like symbols rather than actual people. Where anyone can be Batman, anyone can be Flash, because it's relevant, because nobody will know. It's like the Stig. Well, except in the, the, the Stig, <laughs> for all I know, could be bloody Boris Johnson. And um, I wouldn't care, because I wouldn't know. 
you, uh, you know? It, it's like, with Manda, they don't have that. I mean, you can't replace the main character of a harem with a completely different character pretending to be the main character, because that would be weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's, that's, a, that's a major point of difference. Is... It's like, say, let's say the main character is called... Um, let's say he's called uh, John Smith. And then, like, let's just say that he has uh, blonde hair with brown eyes, and then he gets replaced with someone with black hair and blue eyes, and saying, oh, yes, I'm John Smith now. That's like Bewitched. <laughs> that would be weird. That would be really weird. It's, it's the wrong Darren. And, okay, that's... Nobody watched Nick at Night growing up. No. No one did. Um, anyway. So we're still talking about comics? Yeah, we're still talking about comics and manga. I mean, comics, um, because you put a lot of emphasis on the comics. Well, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of comics. I'm a huge fan of both DC and Marvel. But, okay? um, but that's not what we're supposed to be about it. I am also a really big fan of um, Shonen. Tenjo Tenge and Air Gear. Will you stop the heavy breathing, please? Wow, can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Stop the bullying. I'm a, I'm a really big fan of, of, of like the the shonen beat 'em up, Naruto, and um, I, I, I liked D Gray Man up until my favorite character went kaput, even though he didn't go kaput. So I had to pick it back up. Um, I didn't say who. I know. I'm just uh, now I know that a character will go kaput, but he doesn't really go. But kaput. More than one character goes kaput. Oh, oh great! You're in the whole manga for me, aren't you? Everyone dies. I've read volume more than that's it. Everyone dies. Because I couldn't. Uh, because I didn't. No, die. not everybody dies. Um, there's, there's. I really like reading shonen manga. Like, and I like watching shoujo shows. <laughs> okay, this leads me on to my next section. <laughs> section. It's to do with comics and it's to do with manga. Okay. Reading online versus reading, um, uh, in book in paperback. I try to get in print whenever I can because I like to support the artists. Um, I try to get the print, not not necessarily to support the artist. It's just I like the fact that I can flip through it, put the book in my bag, go sit, I don't know, on the beach, stare at the ocean, think about life while reading Naruto. I don't read Naruto; I read One Piece. So, oh, they're both Nakama. Yeah, or Nakama manga. The only reason I said Naruto is I'm holding it right now. Um, for those that do not understand, Nakama is the word for friend or companion in Japanese, and it's grown into its own sort of subgenre of shonen um, manga and anime. Um, I like getting it in print, but not to support the artist and not because I care about the manga, just because I like having something there. I'll be honest, half of more than half of the manga. So you I, don't read ebooks, right? I don't read anything. Jordan can't read. Re I rarely read. Jordan can't read. They're just there on the odd occasion that I might want to. I have um, Sakura so, like the manga. I can't read it. It's in Japanese. One thing I will say, it's very pretty. Well, in, manga imported Japanese mangas look a thousand times better. They do, they do, because they don't have to be rescanned in the typeset redone. Or just, um, I will say, as in this has a cover and it's very pretty, and I can remove it and it just comes with, like, line art, and I think that's amazing. I will say that raw manga is really, really good for, if you're studying Japanese. That's why I got it. Um, really? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm studying kanji right now, and when I first started, I was like, yay, I need some reading materials, so I went to a convention and I picked up a bunch of Japanese manga. To, to me, all that this they keep saying is no. That's all anyone ever says. Just no, 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 no. But like when I first started, I couldn't understand what was going on. Like there was the pictures, but I could, I didn't get the story. Like I, if I don't read English and I look at my my kid Loki comic, you know, I can get I can get the general gist of what's going on. Who is this general gist? Like like James said, like James. Okay, so I'm looking. And there's some pretty shots of some birds. Oh, and the birds are flying, and there's there's obviously exposition going on, because I'm not reading any of the English. And then, oh look, there's Kid Loki, and he's texting. And then somebody comes to pick on him, and Thor saves him. 
And then he talks to Thor, and then Thor is obviously looking down on him, so he's scolding him, right? And then, oh, Kid Loki goes and he's like, he's doing stuff. He's he's looking in some trash, and he finds something, and then he, he, he talks to a dragon, so he's obviously on this awesome quest, right? And then, ooh, he finds the, 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 the Loki helmet, and oh, there's the, the image of old Loki, and blah, 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 and they're talking, and they're talking. And then the old Loki disappears and is replaced by a, a bird. So this is the story. This is the story of how Kid Loki made Ecol. Ooh. And I have not read a single word of the English, and I know what went on. However, when I flip through my manga, it's like, oh, okay, she's at a school. There's a guy. There's a there's a flower. Oh, it's the next day. What's going on? I'll flip through Spies and Wolf, not reading anything. This will be difficult. Boats, farmland, eyes, farmland, um, <laughs> someone with um, a cart, must be a trader, I'm guessing, since he's talking to someone. Uh, he's got money, he's going through the farmland, uh, something about hay, uh, full moon, staring at horse, tits. Oh, can I go next? Can I go next? <laughs> no, 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 that's, it's ridiculous how they actually have tits, and it's in colour. I like how only this one section, when it's like, oh, look at these tits. Fan service. Mm. Can I go next? Me. I want to go next. Fuck's sake, mm. James. Pun. <laughs> For those of no, you who I'm can't... No, no video. No. <laughs> can, can I go I'm next? I'm looking at your video. I want to read next. Yeah, go next, okay. go. So, uh, this go. is Agrisa. No reading! No. I know. No reading. I'm not just re impression. It's in Japanese. I can't read it. <laughs> all I would say is I say no. Okay. Dude looks like a pimp. He's got hose all around him. Runs into boobs. Oh god, there's a cat butt in his face. He's got a cat butt. Cat's all like, oh shin. The cat just like trying to claw his face, but it can't because it's too far away. And then there's like a scene with them all just like standing there, like, yeah. He's carrying some stuff. Found a box of the cat in. This is his house. He's laying on a bed. He's got some cats on him. Got more cats on him. More cats, more cats. <laughs> what is this monk? There's a lady <laughs> with a shirt undone. On cleavage and she's laying on his bed. She's got drool on her mouth. She gets up. And she's suddenly happy. And she's just all like, oh hi. And then she's all blushies. She has blushies. And she points. <laughs> and then she's playing games on the not PlayStation 3 apparently. And that's it. Why are we here, are we? <laughs> you are me. You are me. Okay, so, 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 do you know the actual real story? I understand. Of... I know the real story more or less. Okay, what is? Give us, the, give us the real story. <laughs> if you had been reading it, well, I'm, 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 I'm afraid. afraid yeah, I'm afraid if he if he reveals that, um, this will be become um, an R plus. Um... <laughs> oh, so so it's porn. No, <laughs> this one isn't. I have a porn manga. If you want me to go through that one. No, no, no. I just want. I just want to know, like. <laughs> What's the real story of it? Uh, I can't. I can't really say that fully because I can't read it. But he's just walking, really. And then there's like a cat because he if, likes if cats. My he memory takes serves okay, me my well from the is, anime. My question is: Imamori, Imamori Himari is about this guy who. This isn't Imamori Himari. Oh, what is it then? Okay. Um, I Can said I Sakura. So. Like seriously, oh. just, just let me ask this question: If you had been reading it, would your impression of the story be different? Not too different. I would say it would be different, but basically this opening scene is all like, well, he takes in cats, and that's why he got kicked out of his dorm, and it does look like he's moving, and there are okay. cats, and he is surrounded by cats in his new dorm. Okay, we get, uh, we get the cats. <laughs> I fucking okay, love I cats. If you, if you guys look at a, uh, at a comic, there is a lot more panels. Often I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily say that. It's a that 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 completely depends on the genre of manga that you're going with. Mm. Completely. Oh no! Right. Shojo shojo manga have a lot less panels than shonen. Literally, right. At this moment in time, I'm staring at a page from the New Fifty Two Flash. Right. Okay. Yeah. There. There. It's there are more. Panels I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. Okay, right, let, right, let, let me let me just say right. Basically, in the scene, a robber's running out of um, out of a bank, 
Um, he slips from some apples and being held at gunpoint by the owner. At this point, um, a car's screeching and is going to hit this um, hit this guy, but gets saved by Flash, right? Yeah, because that's what he does. There is one, two, three, four, five, six panels describing the guy about to get hit by the car. Oh, well, see, the thing is, with Flash, part of part of the storytelling flow of Flash is it has to do with temporal stuff. So they're going to show things that are in high speed as low speed to illustrate how fast the Flash is moving. It's it That's part of the, the storytelling of that single story. Okay, I'll pick up Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can prove myself again. No, no, I get, I get, what, I get what you're going through, but I'm telling you that the, that that specific instance is a storytelling device for that specific comic. Yeah. Okay. But all I'm saying but, okay. is, in general, t- comics yeah. use much more. Uh, they use okay, more the panels. Big spread you know? of of journey into mystery, right? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine panels on the double page spread. One of them is very big. What I want to know is compare the sizes of the actual thing. <gasps> I just ripped my comic. Well, you're a horrible person. Well, uh, that's the end of this my podcast favorite. because um, <laughs> that was horrendous. That was <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm it's not that actual end of the uh, I'm podcast. Cry now. Okay. Are you guys even still listening? If you are, props up because yeah, thank you, thank you for sticking with us like all the time. Thanks, guys. Like, are... Jordan loves you. We love you. Jordan loves um, you very much. It's it's not like I love you or anything. <laughs> it's it's not like we wanted you to listen all the way through or anything. My little viewer can't be this cute. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I want to give I want to give some shout outs. Um, no, oh, thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh and Vic, for um, first creating Hummingbird, which is um, the anime recommendation site that we all met on. And uh, course, no, no, this no, is the no, unofficial no, podcast no, for no. Me and James didn't meet on that. Yeah, we didn't meet. On that. Okay, so we've known I each other for a year. Yeah, but I yeah, met you, and yeah, boy. That's yeah. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like to. Um, Family. I'd like to thank my mother. Hi, mom. <laughs> mom, I did it. I'd like to. Oh, uh, I'd like to thank the creator of um, Tiny Chap. Uh, what? No, what did he use? Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give a shout out to Ashley because she's my girl. Um. Uh, <laughs> also, my top ten favorite from Hummingbird. <laughs> you know who you are. I'd like to give out. Is it a me? Shout out to Lisa. Um, <laughs> Lisa, we love you. Come back. We we miss you, Lisa. We need your torment. <laughs> I want a shout out to my family, all my friends, spec guys. Um, if it weren't for you guys, you have, I won't be here. If you want it, if you want us to watch something and talk about it, or if you want us to talk about something in a discussion, go ahead and leave a comment um, on the anything. The blog entry for the podcast, the one that's got the show notes. If you guys are watching on YouTube, feel free to subscribe and give this video a like, because um, it does a lot, actually. Like, favor, and subscribe if you want, but... Uh, if you're on you, if you're on, if you're listening to us on iTunes, go ahead. If you're and listening to us on us. iTunes, get the fuck off of iTunes. Jordan, shut the hell up! Don't judge our fan base. He's 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 biased against Mac. Don't listen to him. It's not Mac. It's Apple, um, actually. Oh, Apple. Whatever. 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 If you're listening to us on iTunes, go ahead. Give us a review. Even even if you think we can improve in an area, um, especially let us if know, you think because we, we can't improve if you don't tell us where we can improve. Especially, um, in fact, if you think we could improve in an area, because that's <laughs> what you should do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, don't just review us to praise us or anything. No, no, d- d- tear us down, man. No, be nice about it, please. I, I'm, I'm fragile. <laughs> it's true. Um, James knows. Let us know. Let us know what you want us to watch, what you want us to talk about, and we will because you, we're doing this for you guys and and for us, but mostly for you guys. Yeah, but but this, this somehow relates to you. It's all for <laughs> Last you. Last words, guys. 
Um, I'm I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. Good, right. Goodbye. Farewell. Sick boy, Jordan. Hi guys. Bye. Yeah, we're done.